Malim Jan Muhammad, respected elders, brothers, sisters in Iman, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On this joyous occasion, on behalf of the Managing Committee and the Board of Trustees, we wish you all Eid Mubarak. Now I'd like to invite our President, Brother Mahmoud Dala, to come forward and address the community. Par Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad, salawat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله My dear sisters and brothers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Managing Committee I would like to wish you all and your families Eid Mubarak Eid is a special day for all Muslims around the world. It is a day we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ability to successfully complete the month of Ramadan and attain all the blessings that come with this holy month. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our deeds and prayers during this holy month. Amen. We spent this Ramadan with a very heavy heart that while we break our fasts in comfort of our homes and mosques, our brothers and sisters in Gaza continue to face bombardment and starvation. These honorable and brave people of Gaza continued to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. They refuse to give up their freedoms at any cost. They choose to live in hardship and death instead, but never surrender their freedoms to any oppressors, whether it be their occupiers or neighbors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to take a page from their struggle so we can continue to live an honorable life, one that relies on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all our needs. Ameen. I continue to be deeply humbled to be part of this vibrant community, which is open to one and all without judgment, a community where our sisters and brothers of all ages and needs feel comfortable to partake in various programs and gain the benefits of being part of a big family here at HIC, alhamdulillah. We would like to take a moment to recognize all the volunteers and the efforts that go behind the scenes to make our community programs so successful. From the Niaz and Fatiha volunteers, the Chai and Juice volunteers, seniors volunteers, ladies decor, Alam and Lash, parking volunteers, media, maintenance volunteers, catering iftars and seharis for HIC, set up and clean up volunteers, tween girls volunteers, barbecue, Quran darsa, Salatul Jama'ah volunteers, HIC workshop, and IEC team for reciters coordination during Ramadan and the list continues, and all other volunteers that I may have missed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and your families immensely for the sacrifices you make continuously for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lift this community up as you are so squarely the backbone of this community. We would like to thank the donors who make it possible for us to run our programs as well. You all contributed generously that we were able to cover our entire budget this Ramadan, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your donations as these spendings are directly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless you and your families immensely as well for your generosity. At the same time, we the volunteers from both the ladies and men's side request the community. If there was any shortcoming from our part that you forgive us and pray for our continued tawfiq. The highlight for our, of our Ramadan program, though, was constantly hearing the voices of our children and youths reciting various duas daily, and especially during the Lay Laylatul Qadr Amals. Our collective and con continued support for our madrasa children and their recitation continues to be the platform of encouragement on which this community's leaders of tomorrow will grow. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our youth and children for the time they take to prepare and share with us their recitation, as well as their parents, for encouraging and working with them. 
Let us cherish these moments with our young ones, for before we know it, they will be graduating high schools and universities and going off to pursue their lives. Speaking of graduation of this, on behalf of this community, I would like to extend my heartiest of congratulations to all those students and their parents who are graduating from high school or university this year. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our graduates in their lives ahead and give them tawfiq to continue serving this community. Education must be the cornerstone of every community. We must continue supporting and celebrating all our various achievements in education. The support for our own educational institution is especially important as we navigate through these various, very precarious times where all around us, we are seeing concepts that don't conform to our moral values seeping into our public education system. Alhamdulillah, we can be very proud that our community elementary school shine and our madrasa have had a phenomenal year this year. As they are coming to close, to, as they are coming close to the end of the school year, they are looking forward and preparing for the new year. If you have children in elementary school, I urge you to consider Shine for upcoming years. Similarly, for our madrasa, please ensure to register your children for next year. Our seniors committee have been continuing to do some fantastic work this past year with highlights like the second annual Charlo Daytona weekend. They have now organized a simply amazing ziyarat trip to Mashhad starting next week. There are over 55 seniors going on this trip, mashallah. Let us all pray for them to have a very safe and fulfilling trip. We look forward to seeing you guys back soon, inshallah. Dear seniors going to this ziyarah, we request that the first thing you pray for is for the prosperity and the future success of our HIC family, inshallah. The senior team has now partnered with our media team to bring to us an amazing feature. They have the honor of launching the Wadilo Nawichar series, which documents the wisdom of the jewels of the community with intimate individual interviews. Please tune in to HIC's YouTube channel at 3 p.m. today to view this fantastic program featuring our very own Motaba in the first episode. My dear sisters and brothers, buckle your seat belts. I'm now going to give an update on Project Orange. You will recall that we received the site plan approval for Project Orange at the end of last year. We had our groundbreaking ceremony in January of 2024. The next step usually in a construction project is to start completing the CDs and get firmer pricing. As you know, in all construction projects, the prices always go up. However, my dear sisters and brothers, I'm very happy to announce that we have been able to reduce the price of our project significantly. When we started getting, when we started getting first bids, our project costs had increased. As such, we went back to the drawing board a few weeks back. We are infinitely grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for inspiring us with the changes we would need to make to our design to make our project more achievable and sooner. The Project Orange team is very excited to inform the community that we now have a project design that is significantly cheaper in the range of $12 million. Allahu Akbar. Ya Rasulullah. This new design keeps the gym and all other functionality, including mosque, classrooms, etc., almost the same, alhamdulillah. Secondly, this new design does not deviate, deviate from our site plan and therefore does not require us to redesign our site. And as such, we can continue with our site work as it is planned. We will work very hard to maintain our schedule for a late third quarter, early fourth quarter 2025 completion. We will meet you very soon, inshallah, to discuss the details of this new design as well as other items that have been circulating during the month of Ramadan. My dear sisters and brothers, 
We have $7.5 million available in cash and pledges remaining for our con construction. With this new budget, let's say we land at about $12.5 million. We are there for 60% there already. We then have about $5 million remaining to collect. I am very confident that we as a community have what it takes to collect the remaining in short order. Allah has inspired us with a much better solution. It is now up to us as a community to do our part. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmi hatta yughayyiru wa ma bi anfusi. Surely Allah does not change the condition of a people until they change their own condition. This is one of the most resourceful Shia community I have ever come across. I am very certain that we have what it takes to support our project for the future of our children, inshallah. I look forward to your pledges and contributions over the next few days and weeks. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the guidance and tawfiq to spend in his way so we can build our future home, one that we can gift to Imam Zamana, for he is the ultimate heir of everything that is Allah's. Inshallah, I look forward to seeing you all this weekend for our various Eid festivities. Please do not forget to register for our fun event on Friday as well. Sisters and brothers, in conclusion, let us first remember our sisters and brothers in Gaza and elsewhere who are being oppressed. Let us also remember all those mu'mineen who were here with us last year and are no longer with us, as well as all other marhumeen with the Surah Al-Fatiha Ma'as Salawat. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Ziyarat. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum.